All right, good morning everyone. Well, not really good morning anymore. It's kind of 305 getting the vlog started late But I would like to start off by thanking you guys so much for 58 subscribers Literally my channel has grown so much just over the past month it's unreal to me. Thank you all so much. At 100 subs, I'm going to be doing a $50 gift card giveaway to anywhere you would like it to be. So once I reach 100 subs, I will do it that video, and I will let you guys know of that in the future. But yeah, hit that subscribe button, help me out, and help yourself out in the future. You guys are absolutely unreal. I can't believe the amount of love you guys have been giving me. Like literally, my channel has not been filled with any hate. It's just all positivity, likes. I barely get any dislikes on my videos. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go and get my day started. Currently, I'm on my way to Best Buy because today I am picking up my G7X. I am so excited for this. I can't even begin to explain. So let's head over to Best Buy. Today is the day that you become mine. All right, let's grab a guy, let's purchase this, and let's get out of here. All right, guys, just got out of Best Buy, picked up the G7X. I'm going to head home before I unbox this because every time I unbox something in the car, I lose parts, so I will see you guys at home. All right, and we are back home. Time to get this baby open. Now, I have been having a ton of lighting issues with this camera, and I know it's like aperture and exposure and all that, but it was either get a light or get this and I rather would get something like this because of a couple reasons. I can fit this in my pocket. My DSLR that you guys are, I cannot. This is a lot more portable and I can hide this and take this into a lot more places. When I go to places like Easton or even like Cedar Point, like, you know, places where you want more of an active camera and not a huge bulky one, this is why I wanted this. Let's get to opening it. So inside the box, we have some uh, warranty. I don't know if I wanna show that. We have a instruction manual that uh, no one really cares about. In this dish, we have the main component, and then we have a battery, which I'm definitely gonna have to get more of these if I'm gonna use this as my main camera from now on. Charger strap and I really don't do not know where my cable is maybe it's in here this thing is freaking like my first impression on this thing is like it's very durable like it's like a solid metal body this thing just seems like if you if you drop it one time it's not gonna break immediately it's like really small compact let's see if it can fit in my pocket drops right in my pocket I mean, yeah, of course you can see it, but I mean, it, it's not gonna fall out and it fits. So one thing I am seeing is that in the box, it did not come with a cord. It does take a USB mini and an HDMI port. So most of the time anyone has a USB mini just laying around. So you'll be fine on that one. And then after you get the date and time set up, your camera is good to go. Got a picture and everything. Let's start vlogging on it. So just like I thought when I turned the camera on, the battery is almost dead, but we are going to try to vlog with it as long as I can. I hope you guys can hear me great. Um, I do not have a wind muff on this yet. So uh, it's kind of weird. Like I'm so used to like such a big camera and I hope that like my hand is staying out of the shot and I hope it's stabilized. Ah, this just feels so much different. I, it's a good different, it's just gonna take me a while to get used to because also my viewfinder, which is like the thing that shows me, like a picture of me, it's above now and not on the side like it used to be. But I think that the stabilization on this camera is gonna be a lot better so the B-roll will increase as well. And just the low light, like my room is very dimly lit. Let's try to uh, turn the light switch off. And you guys can still see me perfectly fine. If I was doing this on my other camera, you would not be able to see me at all. So, and then I'm also noticing another thing is the autofocus on this camera is absolutely superb. It's like insane. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick demo of the new camera. Now I have to go and help my dad tear out the rear end because we are taking that in tomorrow to get done finally. The new camera is charging up, so we are back to the old one. Time to go help my dad now. Now 
that the rear end is loaded into the car, I am going to actually go and pay the uh, guy that did my channel art. If you guys haven't noticed, I got new channel art, and it was done by a guy on Twitter named at it's JD. I'll leave a little annotation right here, but he did some great work, and he did it for like dirt cheap. Um, you can. You can talk to him about payments, but he does really good work, so I'm gonna head to Kroger and get my iTunes card to give to him right now. But I wanna do a test real quick. It seems kinda dark in here on this camera, so let's test it out on the G7X right now. See, I feel like this thing just does so much better with lighting, so I'm gonna use this camera the rest of the night now that it is charged up, and let's head to Kroger right now. So far, how am I liking the camera? And do I think it's a good buy? I do like the camera a lot. I wish it did have a wider lens like my DSLR does, but I understand like why that can't possibly happen just because this camera is so tiny. And for what it is, I think it's great. Like the purchase, I, I do not regret it at all. The lighting that this thing has compared to my freaking DSLR, like my DSLR was, the aperture and ISO was just, it, it didn't work out well. This camera, however, great, and you don't even have to do anything to it. Yeah, I have to get a wind muff so like, so it doesn't pick up like wind noise and stuff like that on the microphone. But other than that, right out of the box, it's a great vlogging camera. Yeah, it, it is kind of close up like compared to my other camera, but oh well, y you'll get used to it. it. It'll just take time and do I like my DSLR more or do I like the G7X more? Honestly, I think both serve a completely different purpose. If I'm in my room or if I have more of a time to set up a shot, I'm gonna of course use my DSLR. The quality on that thing is absolutely unreal. But for walking around and portability wise, the G7X, there's just no beating it. Like, yeah, the Sony uh, RX100 Mark IV or whatever, I was looking into that one, but that camera is a thousand dollars, and I don't, I don't like my colors to look as flat as it does on that. I, just for like the amount of money that you can spend on that thing, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. And like this camera, I, I love Canon. They always get everything right when it comes to cameras. They're just a reliable brand. I'm not looking into 4K yet. Like there's no point. I don't have that big of a following. I love doing this, but if I don't have that huge of a following, what's the point in 4K? Now that I got my little talk out of the way, I'm headed to Chipotle because I'm picking me and Aaron up some Chipotle. <laughs> Let's take this and get it dropped off to her. Aaron, I got you Chipotle. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I lo <laughs> it's freaking Zachary, dude. That's my favorite bagger in the world. Zachary <laughs> made it into the vlog, boys. <laughs> Okay, let's eat. Back home now, guys. About to head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as always. And I will catch you in tomorrow's video, which we're getting that rear end done. So please stay tuned, check in, and leave that like and subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.